out of the vehicle. I'm getting ready to hey, give you the stop, information. Stop. You need to step stop out of the vehicle. So now Sir, this time you're under arrest. arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. What's up, guys? Today we have another soft city, but not just any soft city. This one's a Moorish soft city, which means even more gullible than the regular kind. Pay attention how the sergeant makes their heads explode, introducing them to the foreign concept of logic. Enjoy. January 5th, 2023, a traffic stop was conducted on the vehicle for displaying a fraudulent tag. Upon contact, the driver refused to provide legal identification or any paperwork related to the motor vehicle. The following is the body cam footage of the events that ensued. Right, let me stop here. You can just send me another non emergency. <sighs> How you doing, sir? What's up? What's my name's also stopped at the city of St. Pete. Reason I'm stopped is because you don't appear to have a valid registration on your vehicle. Ah, this vehicle is registered. Actually, excuse me. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can tell he's new at this. He's got the script memorized, but not very well, and he's nervous. It's going to take him a minute to get going. I'm a foreign national. Mm -hmm. um, this vehicle is registered under the Morris American National Councilman. Councilman. Okay. And under the Treaty of Secret and Friendship and the CNA, the Council of Notification. So basically, what I'm asking is, um, are you familiar with the uh, Council of Notification and Access Manual? I'm familiar with your uh, train of thought. Do you have your ID on you, sir? I'm asking, are you familiar with. Um, are called? you familiar with the CNA, the Council of Notification? Hey, my front seat. Front are you seat. familiar with um, Council of Notification? Front seat. Yes. And my Access front seat. Manual? Yes or no? Uh, you, is your lieutenant. Yep, I have the supervisor on the way, yes. Okay. Okay, but are you familiar with the council notification access manual? I'm familiar that with the Florida State statute requires that your vehicle be registered with the state and that you obtain a valid fuller driver's license to operate within the state. Wait his lieutenant comes because they would know if he doesn't. All right, I guess he doesn't. Again, Florida state law requires that you have your vehicle registered with the state of Florida or any of the other 50 states and you have a valid driver's license within the United States to operate a vehicle. Now, at this point... I am giving you a lawful order to identify yourself because you're being stopped for a traffic violation. <coughs> Excuse me. Spike strips. <coughs> what? Uh, well. Spike strips. <laughs> He's excited. He knows what's going to happen. Speak to your um, lieutenant. Yeah, bring your lieutenant, please. My sergeant is on, well, a sergeant's on the way, not yeah, my yeah, sergeant. Bring someone who's uh, you, competent in council notification and um, notification access manual. You're not familiar Tango 16, they're being non-cooperative. They're requesting a supervisor. Yeah. Get them under the tires, they're gonna flee. <laughs> oh, that's a I'm Yep. I'm asking if you're confident in the sir. You're traveling on the roads in the city of Saint Pete in the state of Florida. Do you have your driver's license? What does being a foreign national have to do with anything? Even if he was, you think foreign nationals don't have to have driver's licenses? Is that just required for citizens? Citizens are the only ones that have to follow the law. No one else does. Registration for insurance on you. I am a foreign national. I'm asking if you're competent in your council notification access manual. Every okay, push, sheriff push and policy rules. enforcer are supposed to be competent in that. Have your license registration for insurance on you, or some form of identification. Okay. Unless you're confident in that, I'm. I don't. I'm not required to. You, you are required. You. you don't. Oh, but you are. You're buying the ticket right now, my friend. You're gonna take the ride soon. I have that information during a traffic stop. <coughs> this I do is have a commercial stop, and I am protected by treaty law and obligations. So if I'm confident in um, the council of the national access manual, you shouldn't be here. You need to bring somebody who is confident in the national of the national access manual. Where's the information you're going to go to? 
Dr. Moore to ask me any questions. I'm no, not obligated to ask you anything. Okay. I mean, to answer anything for you. And, and if you fail to provide that information, you're obstructing <coughs> this traffic stop, you will go to jail. I'm going to have to sue you. That's fine. Because... You, you can provide the information or you're going to go to jail. I'm not going anywhere. You need to provide... We're you're going law. against the um, Article 6 of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Are you, are you a civil between advisor? the Moroccan I am, ma'am. You have your driver's and license, registration, and proof of insurance on you. Are you familiar... Are you familiar with the CAA National Notification Council? Stop. Yes or no? Are you familiar? Stop it for What country are you from? Moroccan Empire. We are the Moroccan Empire. Do you have identification on you so that I can so I can notify your consulate that you've been stopped? <laughs> consulate? What's a consulate? We're making this shit up. We don't have a consulate. I can call the consulate. Do you have, you have identification on you? Yes, yes, yes. And ask this man, you what, what country? Are, what, you yet. said you're from Morocco? I actually What's your consulate? Moroccan. Moroccan. Do you have identification on you so I can call the consulate and see if they're familiar with you? The consulate. And I can send them. You don't actually have to answer the questions unless they have any questions. Hey, you got to step out of the vehicle. Hey, hey, you're getting ready to give you the information. Stop. You need to step out of the vehicle. Sir, at this time you are under arrest. You need to step out of the vehicle. I'm trying to cooperate with her. Now you're breaking my arm. Ma'am, I'm talking to her. Do not touch me. Don't touch us. We're talking to her. Ma'am, excuse me. You need to have a search warrant. I am acting as a counselor. A seizure warrant. She's smacking his hand. You may be radio there, Mom, but you're not this cops. An arrest warrant, but you have none of those things. Ma'am. Sir, step out of the vehicle, please. Step out of the vehicle. I'm going to pull you from the vehicle. Baraka, I'm trying to tell you. You got you. Sir, step out of the vehicle. I'm going to remove you from the vehicle. Excuse me. Stop it. Let me show you my... I'll show you my... No, stop reaching. Stop reaching. Step out of the vehicle now. We have a foreign ID. Baraka. Baraka, stop. 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 We have a foreign ID. You stop. stop. Yeah. Hang on, let me see if I can cooperate. Let me see if I can cooperate. I need your IDs. You guys, you do have to provide we me. You do have to provide ID. me. Hang on. I, I need foreign, your foreign IDs. Foreign That's IDs. fine. Do you have them? Yes. What do you need? My you can see ID it, but you cannot take it. Okay. What do you need, ma'am? I will show you this. This is my identification right okay. here. Let me see it. So I let me see it so I can write it down. Okay, let me see it so I can write it down. I'll give it back. All right, we'll give it I'll back. I'll give it back. Give it to me. You have to give it back. The guy that sold me that I don't need a driver's license handbook made me pay extra for my fake ID. Make sure you give it back. Can you put the car in park and turn the turn the car off for me? Put the car in park and turn it off for me, please. Put the car. <clears throat> Listen. Obviously being very violent. So. Listen, I'm not trying to have any trouble. Okay. But we are under lawful right via the treaty of peace and friendship that we have with the U.S. Corporation of America. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know what? Is this... have these documents. I can show them to you. Okay. Do you have them? Uh, fortunately, I didn't bring them with me. The vehicle. I can. Okay. My, then... There's a place. Right over there that I can bring you with, and I can give you all of my. Do actually, no, actually, no, no. I think I can bother. <sighs> What do you and do you have the CNA because uh, I can't so you guys are from you were born in Morocco? You see that there? You see that there flag? That's the signal that we're supposed to have on our conveyances. The via Article four of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. I have a flag. It's got a magnet and everything. What other proof do you need? between the United States and the Moroccan Empire. You guys know this. This is a commercial stop and the treaty is to protect us from commercial incidents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Sir, at this point, you are under arrest. For you need what? to step out of the vehicle. For what? Obstruction. Obstruction of what? Obstruction of this traffic stop. We're not going to debate this it. Is, You'll I'm have not, your day this, in this court. Is not obstruction. You need to step out of the vehicle for me, this please. This is not obstruction. Excuse me. There's no right. You're not. You're yes, going sir. against the Article Six. And like I said, you'll have your day in court. No, you're under arrest. Me, be, we're beyond detainment. What am I under arrest for? I already advised you obstruction. Please step out of the vehicle. What am I instructing? The traffic stop, sir. I'm not instructing. She's already ordered me to take him into custody. She needs. You need to step out of the vehicle. You can speak. She's on the outside. 
Okay, hold on. Let me get my book real quick. Sir, I need you to not reach for anything else. I need you to step out of the vehicle. Hey, will you go in with my... Step out of the vehicle. Let's go. Let's go. Step out of the vehicle. Hey! Get on the ground. Off with me. Get on the ground. You're not supposed to be doing this. Get off with me. This is definitely a violation of the Declaration of Rainbows and Unicorns. You're going to be in big trouble for this one. Get off with me right now. Get on your stomach. Cooperate. Not worth it. Not worth it. Relax and cooperate. Y'all breaking the treaty. Article 6, Article 4, y'all breaking all the treaty laws right now. I'm not supposed to be doing this. You're going to roll on your side, boss. You have anything else sharper than it's going to poke, six, stab, or cut me? What? I'm asking if you have any other weapons here. That's, that's not a weapon, that's a tool for drywall. I'm a drywall finisher. I do drywall work. Y'all know darn well that this is against the law. We are allowed to travel. The treaty of peace and friendship is our protection and com commerce. That flag is our signal that we're supposed to travel. How do we do this? Y'all know this. Article 4. The banner that y'all wear. Go back over on this side. Go back the side. That's y'all signal that y'all supposed to go by. <clears throat> give my phone to my mother. Perfect. Sit up. If I have anything on me, give it all to my mother. Absolutely, we will accommodate that. Go ahead and sit up. And you stand up. Put your Just bring your leg yes. in. Put your knees up to your chest. Yes! Come on, sit up. Alright, one, two, three. So I have to go through this mat and this line. She didn't want right, to comply. Tra comply with what? The traffic stop. This is a commercial stop. Go ahead. What traffic means. Traffic is commercial. I'm very aware of traffic is. I'm a traffic officer. Go ahead and have a seat for me. I am not consenting to this. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Alright. Step it out for me. Uh, you said you want to talk speaking. to the supervisor again, right? I'm going right? to take this off of you, okay? Uh, I, I don't. don't. Do not grab that. That's a big mistake. Ma'am. I understand that, but don't grab it with the weapon. Okay? Ma'am, why are you why are you bothering me? What did I do? Can you step out of the car so we can talk to the supervisor like you asked? Ma'am, are you gonna are you detaining me for any reason at all? For I what? You because I heard car. you speaking over there. I touched his hand. Yep, you grabbed me twice. I didn't mean to, well, you know what? Ma'am, please step I, out of the car, okay? Can I call my mom? Nope, you need to step out no, of the car. Please step out of the car. Are you detaining me? You're under arrest. Ma'am, yes, step out of the car. Ma'am, we can do this what? one of two ways. So okay. Step okay. out of the okay. car. Don't I don't, I don't, I don't. I get out. I know, don't thank you. Okay. Get then get out. Wrist, Perfect. Then get out. Get off my wrist, please. Get, get out. Step out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yes, ma'am. I need my phone because I need to be able to contact my mother and remember. Yes, ma'am. And I don't know it by heart. That's fine. Okay. Can she go in your cruiser? Absolutely. I'm parked behind that cruiser. Let's go walk to that white one. Okay. Take a 16, 15 a second time. Registered to orbit leasing, but the last tag of 2020 was registered. Sanders. With a different date of birth. That's what he is in I. This is his name in I leads. And it says this is the alias. So if you pull this up in I. The subject, identified as Baraka Sanders, was arrested and charged with operating a vehicle without insurance, no valid driver's license, operating an unregistered motor vehicle, resisting officer, and providing false name or identity to law enforcement. Subsequently, he was adjudicated guilty on all charges and placed on six months probation. However, after just five months, the court revoked his probation due to non-compliance with conditions, including failure to fulfill financial obligations to the court, not obtaining a valid driver's license within five months, and not registering the vehicle and obtaining a valid tag within five months. Adjudicated. That means he wouldn't take a plea deal and thought his gibberish was going to work with a judge. I didn't. Hope they serve crayons in the commissary. He might need a little snack.
Well, that's it for this one. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the no notifications bell, and check out this video for more soft sit shenanigans. Peace out.